Yah's instructions also covers our diets, the food we can consume and the food we can't. Not all animals were meant to be eaten. Some were created to be food and others were created for other purposes. In the United States, many would consider it an abomination to eat a rat, cat, dog, or horse, and rightfully so. Those animals are unclean and were never meant to be food. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, Yah tells us we cannot eat rabbits, rats, dogs, cats, monkeys, apes, alligators, pork, shrimp, catfish, lobsters, crabs, vultures, owls, etc. Just by looking at these animals, it becomes apparent we are not supposed to eat them. Animals that are created for human consumption, which is food, are sheep, goats, deer, cow, bulls, any fish with scales and fins, such as perch, whiting, trout, salmon. We can eat chicken, turkey, quail, and so on. These are some of the animals Noah was instructed to bring upon the ark by sevens. The instructions and laws of Yah bring us discipline and it makes us civilized. Only an uncivilized people would eat any and everything set before their face. From Genesis to Revelation, there doesn't exist one law that says we can eat those animals Yah has deemed unclean. We can't eat any animal we feel because then y'all wouldn't give us dietary laws. You know, um, I think that sometimes we just, we don't understand how great Yah's power is and how magnificent Yah is and that he don't make mistakes and he don't just change his mind just, you know, because he does, he's not human. You know, he's Yah. So it's like this. Yah's not going to tell us to do something or give us a set of laws to do or not to do something only to allow us to do what we want to do. So a lot of times it's how we read it, it's in the context in which we read it. It's very important that we read the entire, every anything we read we have to read in its entirety. You know, if I read a Toni Morrison book and Toni Morrison came up to me and said, you know, uh, well, how'd you like my book, how was Passage 2, Paragraph 3, blah, blah, blah. If I didn't read but passage, you know, the introduction, then I can't possibly tell her what the first passage was. So, you know, that's just like when we go to Matthew chapter 11, I believe it's verse, uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 11, I'm sorry. And um, when, when Yahushua says, it is not what goes into a man, but what comes out, I'll say, okay, well, we can eat anything we like because the Messiah is saying that is not what goes in. But when we read from the beginning all the way to the end of the chapter, we see that it didn't have anything to do with meat. You know, it was about unwashed hands. The scribes and Pharisees were trying to find fault in what the Messiah was doing. And that was what the passage was talking about. It had nothing to do with pork or anything like that. So it's just, no, we can't eat anything that we want.